When we got to Japan, don't forget that there were 10 newspapers in Tokyo just dedicated to sport. So there were hundreds of photographers and reporters there and they couldn't understand why we had a man with a missing right arm playing rugby. And he'd ask, what, what does he do? Oh, he plays break forward. Ah, yes, but what does he do? And they found out on the first game at the Princess Chichibu Stadium, there were just under 50,000 people there. And when he came out on the field and was introduced, the place went quiet as a tomb. It was very eerie and spooky. The kickoff, a ruck, and the, Denny came up with the ball with one arm running across the field looking uh, to pass. He flipped it behind his back and the entire stadium went crazy. And then Japan went crazy. Photographers following him, uh, 50 or 60 reporters following every, everywhere he went. And there were stories. A 12-year-old girl with a missing arm came all the way down from Hokkaido to meet him and it was the most tenderest thing you've ever seen. He treated her like a, a father and she just hugged him and hugged him. He was the man that changed the way Japan handled their handicapped people.